In this video, I show you the best BlueStack 5 settings for a low-end PC. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. Go and open up BlueStacks and then go to the BlueStack settings. So firstly, in this video, I'll go and show you all the best settings for inside of BlueStacks. And then I'll go and show you some best settings outside of BlueStacks to go and change in your Windows settings in general. So firstly, come to performance and then come to CPU allocation. So firstly, you need to know how many CPU cores you have available. So to do that, all you need to do is go and tap on search and you need to go and open up your task manager by clicking on it just like so. When you first open the task manager, you'll be on the processor page, but what you want to do is come to performance. And as you can see, we can go and see our CPU here. So select it. Then down here, you can see how many cores you have and I've got six cores. So personally, I don't like to use more than half my cores. So I set it to custom and then went and selected three and that works for me. Then when it comes to memory allocation, I like to do the same. I don't like to use more than half of my RAM. Um, so if you go back to your task manager and go to memory, and then for memory, I've got up to 16 gigabytes. So you're going to see yours, um, and then you can come to CPU allocation and I have mine on high, which is fine because it's four. But let's say you've got four gigs of RAM in total, I'd go and use medium and I use two gigabytes. So yeah, as I said, just use below half or half. Then for performance mode, I recommend high performance um, just to go and push your PC as much as possible. I personally keep these all off, but if you want to go and have a higher frame rate than 60, then switch that on and you can go and select the amount you like. Then go and press save changes and let's go to our display settings. So come over to the left hand side and go and tap display. So if you're really trying to optimize for the best possible FPS, then what I recommend doing is turning down your display resolution to 720p. At the moment, it's on 1080p for me, but go and tap on 720p just like so, um, and that is gonna go and obviously make the, the quality a little bit less, but you're gonna go and have higher performance, which of course is what you want. But I'm gonna keep on on 1080p personally, but definitely try 720p if you're having any problems. I personally don't change the pixel density, but you can if you like, 240 is plenty. Then let's go down to graphics on the left hand menu once again. And for the graphics engine mode, performance is gonna be fine. And the graphics renderer OpenGL will be fine as well. And that's pretty much it guys. If you've gone and got a GPU, I recommend making sure that's switched on. Um, and then it's gonna use your GPU instead of your CPU, which will be faster. Now for the next setting, we actually keep BlueStacks open. And what you need to do is go and open up your task manager. So you can do control alt delete and select task manager from there, or alternatively tap on search and type in task manager, just like so. And we can go and tap on it just here. Then wait for it to load, and here it is, we've got BlueStacks here. Then what you want to do is right click on it and go and tap on go to details, and this is gonna open up your details tab, and here is BlueStacks just here. Then what you need to do is right click on it just like so, and you're gonna tap set priority. And then what you can do is increase it from normal to above normal or high, do not use real time, that is just way too much. But what setting it to above normal or high will do, it's gonna go and give BlueStacks more priority than other programs in terms of your processing speeds and just your overall computer performance. Um, so therefore, it's gonna take priority priority over everything else and it should be faster. So I recommend using above normal or high, just not real time. Then you have to press change priority and there we go, it's now been changed. And now let's go and get into this next fix. So what you want to do is go and tap on search just like so and go and type in graphics settings just like so. It's already come up for me, but you may need to type the full thing in and wait for it to load. So from here, then what you want to do is go and find BlueStack. So it says search this list. So go and search for BlueStack. BlueStack is right at the top for me, which makes it easy. Click on it and click on options and make sure high performance is selected. If power saving is selected, that may be why it's being so slow. So definitely go and select high performance. If it isn't in this list here, then you can go and click add an app um, and you click browse and then you can go and find BlueStack. So I'm gonna add it in here and make sure high performance is selected. And there we go, guys. They're the best BlueStack settings for a low end PC. If you found this useful, please go down below and sell leaving a like. Peace.